<laughs> hey guys, welcome back. This is Dave with Props88. All right, let's get this R2-D2 dome started. Just a little quick picture. All right, first in the R2-D2, the official R2-D2 club, uh, the club dome is approximately 18.25 inches or 464 millimeters in diameter. So with that information, let's get started. Let's come here, Fusion 360. Let's create a sphere and there we go. I'm going to use this plane right here. And it said 464, 464 millimeters, which is 18.25 inches. That's one big sphere. All right. So go from the top, I mean, from the front there, that's what he looks like. So let's, we got to cut this guy in half. So easy way to do that would be to construct an offset plane. It'll default to the middle. We're just going to pick this guy right here and then click OK. Now, let's see over here, I'll show you the bodies. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the uh, modify menu. I'm going to split the body. The body to split is the sphere. Splitting tool is going to be the plane. And I'll just click OK. There we go. Now I got two spheres. We cut off the body. You can see. I got a dome, or well, half a dome. Now let's hollow this guy out. So I'm going to hollow him out, and we're going to shell him, really. And then we're going to just click here. I'm going to put five millimeters, give him a nice thick uh, shell. And there you go. Now he's a uh, dome shell. Just to prove that we have it on here, you can always do the um, inspect the section analysis. I'll just show you really quick. And you can see what he looks like. So we do have a real sphere, a dome rather. So shut this off. Now it's just back to normal. Now, if you notice, we have some panels on top of R2-D2. And I'll show you what that is. The panels, we have one, two, three, four, five, six panels and a dome in the middle. So let's cut all these out and that'll do it for this video. Okay, let's get these panels built now. Let's create a sketch right here. Now, I'm going to use my own dimensions, these panels. So we're just going to start something like this. One circle here. That's the other circle. Don't meet that top. All right. Now, I'm going to zoom in here. Shut this body off so we can see what I'm doing. Let's draw a straight line. Let's do it from... Let's just do it like this. Boom. Boom. And then I'm going to... Come on, draw. Construction, construction. And then I want to do is uh, I can dimension these. I can make this five. Five. There we go. And the reason why we want to do that is because we want to draw lines. One line here to here. And then another line from here to here. So we have our two lines here. See that space? You can actually see it, what it looks like now. Now, let's go ahead and delete. Let's actually select this and this. And then we're going to create our circular pattern. And then the center point is going to be right in the middle. And we know we need six panels like that because we have 2D2 has one, two, three, four, five, six on top. And then we're going to click OK. Like that. And you see how pretty they look. Now go back to put our body back on. We go like this, and we go like this. Now we're going to select our panels. One, two, three, four, five, six. And our center one. And then we're going to extrude. Make sure it says cut. Right to the top. See how that looks. Yay! We have our TD2 from a dome, from a sphere. That's pretty simple, straightforward. And then you could cut this out, print out different parts if you wanted. Um, really quick now, I want to put 
a little square right over here. So let's just create a new sketch put it right here. And I'm just going to randomly do this to show you how easy it is. Um, I'm just going to grab one. Let's see. I'm going to put it right over here, a little off over here. And you'll see what that looks like where I put him. He's over there. Now I can take him, I'll extrude him. And cut him over there. It's like okay. I got my little cut off over there. You could add your other R2 D2 elements and stuff like that. But I hope this gives you an idea how quick and easy it is to create anything with a dome or sphere and hollow it out. So thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Take care.